30 years ago, a devastating wildfire swept across Nevada County, and its ferocious speed stunned even veteran firefighters. Lessons learned from the 49er fire and others that followed led to changes in landscape management and building codes. But as CBS 13's George Warren shows us, some fire experts say the changes don't go far enough. Over the course of three days, the 49er fire covered 53 square miles and destroyed 148 homes. A mentally ill homeless man started the fire with burning toilet paper right here. And almost immediately, responding fire crews knew that this one was going to be different. So we're on start us record. We returned to one of the neighborhood's hardest hit with Cal Fire Battalion Chief Sean Griffiths, a 25 year old rookie back in 1988. Battalion chief said this is going to be the fire of the future. It's going to be the fire of the new millennium. Lesson learned. 80% of the homes lost to the 49er fire lacked adequate defensible space. California later adopted stricter standards. Defensible space and fire inspectors search for potential problems. A lot of simple things that homeowners can do. We just have to remind them from time to time. But a dramatic demonstration involving a model duplex shows why defensible space cannot offer complete protection. An insurance research group says blowing embers from sometimes miles away cause 90% of property losses. See how well the right side built with fire resistant materials stands up to the embers. But the strictest requirements under California's newer building codes apply only in areas with the most severe fire risk. So California has the right pieces in play. They should apply it more broadly in the state. In 1988, the 49er fire became the third most destructive in California history. Today, it doesn't even make the top 20. Over the last five years, I've had that fire again and again, multiple times in one season. Fire officials are also putting new focus on keeping space clear along evacuation routes. The campfire in Paradise last year graphically demonstrated how one or two disabled vehicles can block an entire community's escape. 